If you've watched the new Disney Plus movie Togo, the movie finds the Siberian Husky sled dog living out the remainder of his life with his owner, Leonard Seppala. However, that differs a bit from the true story of Togo. In real life, after the diphtheria antiserum was successfully delivered to Nome, Seppala took Togo and a team of sled dogs on a victory tour in the lower 48. They stopped in places like Seattle, California, and New York City, appearing before crowds at stadiums, department stores, and making several appearances at Madison Square Garden. After the nationwide tour was over, Togo would indeed go on to sire puppies. Leonard Seppala established a Siberian Husky kennel in Poland Spring, Maine with fellow musher Elizabeth Ricker. Ricker's husband's family operated the Poland Spring Resort and it was there that the kennel was established. Leonard Seppala gave his beloved dog Togo to Elizabeth Ricker, hoping that the heroic husky live out the remainder of his life in comfort. Later in life, Leonard Seppala recalled the day he said goodbye to Togo. It was a sad parting on a cold gray March morning, recalled Seppala, when Togo raised a small paw to my knee as if questioning why he was not going along with me. I never had a better dog than Togo. His stamina, loyalty, and intelligence could not be improved upon. Togo was the best dog that ever traveled the Alaska Trail. This photo shows Elizabeth Ricker reading to the aging husky from a book she wrote about the dog titled Togo's Fireside Reflections. In the latter part of 1929, Togo's health was in significant decline. He was suffering from severe neuritis as well as skin ailments and mobility problems. He could barely stand and could only walk a few steps. A decision was made to end Togo's suffering. Elizabeth Ricker invited Leonard Seppala to say goodbye to his beloved former companion. On December 5, 1929, Seppala said farewell to Togo, digging his fingers into Togo's thick coat, embracing his friend one final time. It was then that Ralph Morell took Togo to a veterinarian to be euthanized. So despite Togo not getting to live out the remainder of his life with Leonard Seppala, it is comforting to know that the two got to say goodbye. After his death, Elizabeth Ricker and Leonard Seppala donated Togo's body to the Peabody Museum at Yale University. Togo's mounted skin eventually made its way back home to Alaska and is currently on display at the Iditarod Trail Headquarters building in Wasilla. To learn more about the fact versus fiction in Disney's Togo, check out our article over on historyvshollywood.com that's linked in the description below. As always, click subscribe to follow us on YouTube.